All right, let's get started. Welcome everyone to another another SolidWorks tutorial video. Uh, first thing first, if you recognize, I have upgraded the SolidWorks version to 2013. Uh, this one has some more advantages in terms of the interface, especially the view options. So let's have a look what we are going to draw in this video. It's a spring. Uh, this is the spring data. So the height is 72.5, meaning the height from the bottom coil to the top coil. Pitch is the gap, is 10 mm. Diameter of spring is 50 millimeter. And the diameter of the coil is 7 mm. Uh, the length from hook to hook is 200, but the length from the right hook to the coil over here is 60 and the length over here is not given so we can summarize that 200 minus 60 and minus 72.5 will be equivalent to the length of this horizontal part over here and this video i will divide the sketches into three parts the top the middle and the bottom part. Please take note, the radius of the hook is 12.5 mm. So let's get started. New. Okay. And in this video, we'll start the sketch on the top plane. So click sketch and select the top plane. Create a circle with a radius of 25 mm. Press enter and click ok go to features and click curve and you can see the only option available is helix and spiral and when you click helix and spiral it will be presented by this option defined by choose height and pitch the height is 72.5 pitch is 10 and the start angle is 0 press ok so for 2013 when you press the space bar you're going to be presented by this option over here which is the view option actually in the previous version it is still showing the view option but it is in the list rather than a graphical setting something like this uh, choose isometric this is just to show the shape of the spring that you have created now go to front plane select normal tool and we are going to sketch a center line on this front plane so click this center line make sure it is at the center and press ok and then uh, there is two button over here click this one meaning that exit the sketch mode press space and go to isometric this is just to give you the overall view of the isometric so the first thing we are going to do is to draw the top part of the hook but in this case we are going to use 3d sketch this is the first time in my video tutorial i will be using 3d sketch just click on 3d sketch and choose center point arc when you choose center point arc your cursor there will be some alphabet at the bottom of your mouse in this case xy what does this xy stand for it is the plane over here x and y in this case you can press tab to change the plane that you want to draw on the one that we want to draw is x and z so press tab once Press step second time so Z and X. For the next step, make sure you are still in the 3D sketch mode and select this center point arc and make sure it is on the Z X angle or oh, sorry Z X plane. Click on the center line and you might want to zoom a bit.
make sure your click is right on the end of the spring okay, and then zoom out and put it somewhere around here change the radius to 25 and the angle is 90 degrees press ok and you might want to double check uh, this point over here to make sure that it is nicely connected from this line from the spring line to this quarter circle over here uh, this is going to be a bit difficult because you need to zoom in to make sure that it is totally connected so once you agree with that go back to isometric view and then the next step is to draw a line from this point to the center and the plane that we want to be on in this case is x and y so press your tab once it will change to x and y and then click this your first click your second click and then go up for 60 uh, this one is 60 press enter so basically you've complete the lines and then uh, the hook should be parallel to this line but on this side so by using your mouse hover on these planes and check which plane are the same angle with this line so in this case it is the right plane so choose the right plane and right click click normal to click this center point arc and create a semicircle over here so sometimes it become like this so you just have to go the other way around your circle your your mouse i mean so if you like this just go to the to the end over here and your third click should be over there and the radius is 12.5 the angle should be 180 because it's a semicircle and press ok so just to double check make sure these three points are in the same plane which is the z, z plane so actually as you can see i draw it on the other way around so i have to undo so start again center point arc somewhere over here your first click is here second click and the third click is over here the radius is 12.5 and the angle is 180 degrees press enter press ok so uh, i think basically you have done with the top part of the spring uh, press this button to exit the sketch mode but before that uh, let's have a look first on your sketches to make sure that uh, these lines are properly connected to one another should be okay uh, the next step is to create a fillet on this sharp angle over here so change to 5 and select the edges that you want to have this fillet number 1 and number 2 so press okay so basically you have done a very nice fillet over here at the top you have done it so press ok over here and click this exit sketch mode so this is exit sketch mode meaning that you cannot sketch anymore and now we are going to go to the bottom part of the spring and going to draw the exact same shape as over here so let's focus on the bottom part of the spring click, uh, click sketch and 3d sketch so when you click sketch, uh, it doesn't appear 3D sketch too. Just click cancel over here. 
and then do it again 3d sketch so make sure you have 3d sketch 2 1 is for the top 2 is for the bottom so let's start the same process the plane that we want is z and x again make sure that the point that you want to click is right at the end of the spring okay and then zoom out and just click over here the radius is 25 correct and the angle should be 90 degree press enter and click ok so just to check the continuity of the entity to make sure that the line are properly connected from the spring to the to the curve over here so the next step is to draw the line the angle or the plane that we want is x y click on this so this is y this is x so we go to the negative x show sure y become a circle just do it again then going down the dimension for this one should be 200 minus 72.5 minus 60 press enter 67.5 just to make sure the angle are all correct okay next step is to draw the the hook as you can see as the comparing to the top the hook are parallel to this line so the hook at the bottom should be also parallel to this one so hover your mouse on the right plane and the front plane so in this case choose the front plane simply because uh, this line are parallel with the front plane so click normal tool so once you choose the the plane the front plane uh, just remove this dimension over here first 67.5 remove it so front plane normal tool and let's draw the semicircle over here so the radius is 12.5 and the angle is 100 degrees press ok and just to make sure that all these points are on the same plane which is x to make it horizontal So let's have a check on the radius before we go 12.5 which is correct 76.5 and the radius should be 25 so I think never mind about that uh, just go to fillet and click on the angle over here and over here click OK Go to isometric just have to just to have the overall look of your sketches so basically we are almost finished with the basic sketches click this exit sketch over here so uh, in order to generate a 3d body from these sketches we need to use the swap boss mode but in order to do that we have to draw what is the profile that we want to create so go to this bottom uh, hook over here and click features reference geometry and click plane we are going to create another plane over here once you click the reference geometry you will be given three types of references that you can choose from the first reference should be on the point of the hook and the second reference should be on the length of this hook 
no need for third reference just click ok go to sketch create a circle on this plane one which is the radius of the coil is 3.5 mm click ok so go back to isometric view and what we are going to do now we are going to combine all the entities into a single one only then uh, this plane or so the sweat boss motion can integrate all the entity if we don't do the uh, composite or the com compilation of all entity the sweat boss only can reach until certain point so let's exit the sketch mode and let me do a demo first. The composite curve is over here, but let's try to do without this composite curve. So click this sweat boss base, click the profile, and then click the length of this profile. You can see it only goes to a certain length. It doesn't continue into the spring and to the top of the hook. What we want to do is a one shot extrude swap base so that it can go from the bottom to the top so that's why we need to do composite curve click over here and you have to select which entity to join you can either choose from this table over here of list over here or you can simply click on your sketches so one two and three and click ok so once you've done that all these three component has become a single entities so just to repeat the step click swap boss and base and then click on this profile of 3.5 mm and the distance or the pass that we are going to use the profile to travel is this length so you can see this is the preview of your uh, spring very nice uh, click ok and i think you have mostly draw the spring nicely uh, just a few more things to do so just uh, a few steps left make sure that the bottom part of your hook is in fillet form okay and also the top part this is just to make the shape overall shape look nicer it's better to have a rounded edges rather than sharp edges other than that i would like to highlight over here for this drawing try to have only three types of sketches the first one is 3D sketch number one, which is the hook, the top hook, and then the body of the coil or the spring, and the third one is the bottom part of the hook. So I hope you can also uh, choose a suitable material for this spring. And I think that's it for my video this time. I really hope you learned something from my video. And I apologize for any shortcoming. Uh, should there be, should you have any suggestion, uh, comments or feedback, just write it down in the comment section. I try to look at it. And as always, thank you very much for, for watching. Goodbye.